Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Kirby's Adventure, presented by Draco Breach. And another level where laser actually comes in useful. I, I don't know that you actually need it for a secret here, though. But it's useful for that one up, as long as we don't hit the spiky fiend. far enough away that it's going to be very hard to get him. Oh well. I'm trying to remember... Wait. Oh, there's ice physics here. Didn't notice that for some reason. Nope. Oh, okay. I did miss something, because I don't remember how to get to that door. Ugh. I know I've gotten there before, because I have beaten this game at 100%. I just, it's been a while since I've even tried. And level two. That, oh. Hello. Copy boss. Come on. This tower is reminding me of something I just don't remember what. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it should have been. <laughs> yes, okay, so he does give you freeze, not ice. That's good. Now, oh, hammer guy. Uh... Okay, a little close. Nah, I think I'll keep freeze for the moment. Just because. Okay. Kind of the interesting thing is, I just... I thought he was throwing boulders at first. <laughs> When I when I first when I first play this game, I mean, and uh, I've come to realize, and if you pay attention, he's actually throwing little turtles. So, yeah, turtle cop the uh, turtle copy boss is throwing small little turtles. Uh, I'm not sure that this ability is going to be useful here. Okay, yeah, may as well get rid of it. Against copy bosses, really, the uh, throw and backdrop abilities aren't that useful. And I hate this guy. Oh, 
No, no. Rats. The kitten is playing with the ball. Really? Get out of his way, get out of his way, because he's inside the stage. Yeah, I'm just gonna cheat on this bucket on this guy. Because I can. Okay. Right. Now it makes sense why he gives you fireball. Fireball could potentially be useful against a copy boss, so let's hold on to Oh, uh... Is this the end of the tower? I guess it is. Okay, then. Wait a minute. Of course they give you a Mighty Meadow right at the end there. And that's not gonna make it to the top. Oh! Okay, apparently I need to doubt myself more. And there's no secret in that stage, so... Hello, Sleep. Go away. The only way Sleep can really hurt you is if you touch him. Like that. No, oh! I forgot Sword could do that. Uh, wait a second. There's something about this area. What am I remembering? Ah! How easy it is to get hit, probably. Oh, there's a mighty meadow, so... No need to worry too much. As long as you don't let the ice physics kill you. And ice physics has a real possibility of killing you here. As you can see, it's because momentum is weird. Oh, I managed to get an ability while I was doing that. Good. There's lots of ice physics in this world. Oh well. Rats, that did not work like I wanted it to. Really? Short levels, and I have a feeling I missed something there anyway. Well, no, the door stays orange. Nope, I did not miss anything. Good. Hello, ball. Go away. Nobody likes you. People like laser more than you, Ball. Actually, in that case, I am going to blame the slowdown because there was a lot of slowdown. Just really. Well, at least I have invincibility frames now, so I can deal with this. I love the various themes here. Very colorful in here. <laughs> Where it actually let's go ahead and pick up fireball. As long as I don't lose it. Because these guys can be pretty fast and hit you very easily. And 
that's kind of why I wanted Fireball, because I remembered something like that. And wow, that's... For some odd reason, I'm not thinking these stages were supposed to be this short. Hmm. Lots of secret... Oh, oh, no. Well, at least I didn't... Oh, yay. Um... Lovely! And now I get to start that boss over again. I didn't... I actually forgot I had one hit left. Sorry about that, I had a phone call I had to take, so there's gonna be a bit of a cut there. And yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. And the wheel boss, when he, you are not prepared for him, he tries to fake you out a lot, he jumps around. His copy ability is quite beneficial. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Right, you see where those stars are going? That's where gravity goes! And it is a bit... Yeah, Fireball actually might be significantly more useful here. Come on. Why Fireball? Because... Just trust me, it is. Okay. Yeah, not a big fan of that. No, 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 coming back here, because I can actually use Fireball here. His Fireball does actually light this up. Rats. Hmm. But might also be not beneficial. Really? I hit Absorb. Wait, it does- yeah, it does reset immediately. Or not immediately. Wow, that's strict timing. I'm going to avoid it. Because I've proven that I cannot quite time things right now. I don't know exactly if it's just lack, like a lack of practice or if my controller is really just not responding all the time that I want it to. Because there have been times where, okay, that had no secret. Okay. Where I just felt like, oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot about the stage. And it's epic. Because <laughs> this is uh, basically a remake of Kirby's Dreamland right here. Of course, not a full remake, although, still, even if it was, that's all, that would only make it like a 20 minute long stage. Because it takes, what, 20 minutes, maybe, to beat Kirby's Dream Land? Lots of slowdown. And what I love is it just goes through, uh... Like, basically, a room per stage kind of thing, so you're seeing bits and pieces. Easy one up is easy, and easy metamato is easy. Oh, metamato is easy. And the classic music and everything.
I knew I was going to get hit there. Oh, man. Timing. Rats, I thought I had that. This is just fun. I, I love these little nods. It even has the flying pigs in the same spots. Although it's obviously smaller scale. And Kirby has an ability that he didn't have last time, which is slide. Oops. Oh well. Now I don't remember if it does. It even copies the moon to give you a secret. Which is the Star Road. Oh, yeah, I just... <laughs> nostalgia. Already attacking nostalgia, Nintendo knows when to attack it. It's all the time. While the iron is hot or while the iron is cool, strike it. <laughs> and now it is time for the boss. And this time you get to see the Fountain of Dreams, which is where... King DDD stole the Star Rod from and broke it into six pieces. Or seven, I don't know. It's just not a DDD fight if you don't fight him vanilla. I somehow avoided that the entire Dreamland fight. And as soon as I am in the adventure fight, DDD gets it off. This is a new attack for DDD right here. He puffs up into a ball like Kirby. Oh, get away, get away. And floats around the screen for a bit. Turn around. Now, they did make DDD harder in this fight than in Dreamland, but I still don't find him much of a challenge. You're not going to see me dying to him nearly as often as I did with Meta Knight. Although there's definitely a possibility that I will die to him. Because he's doing a pretty good job damaging me right now. Partly because I'm not paying attention like I should. Oh! Come on, Kirby. He followed me all the way to the edge of the screen. If I remember... Yeah, he does. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Towards the end of the fight, he actually does change how he directs his flight a little bit. Okay, I messed that up. Oh, come on. Sometimes it's actually a better idea to jump and then go into a puff state. Because it gets you out of harm's way a little bit faster. 
Oh good, that did a bit more damage. Okay, get out of the way. And that's a bit of a danger of flying around, is when he enters his, his puff state, he can chase after you very easily. Okay, one more hit, and what do I do? I fly away from him. And I've beaten King DDD.